Morning, welcome back to Madworks Garage for part I can't remember of Windsor. About four, is it? Episode Possibly, four? yeah. I think it is. It is, isn't it? Must be. Yeah, Ben is there. So hello, Ben. Hello. Right, today we will mostly be tinkering with Windsor again and uh, we're changing out this vent panel on the passenger side of him and the heater matrix. Uh, shroud because it's rotten well, it's got rotten bits in it and I've got a much better one so Benny's job today is to um, clean up and repaint the new ones to go in and take these out and fit them and if there's any horrors underneath here we can get at them then to fix them can't Benny mm -hmm. yeah. whilst he's doing all that which is loads I'm going to be carrying on with this side of him uh, setting up this door still Making sure it's correct before a weld gun goes anywhere near it. Um, so I'm going to bring it up in the air in a minute and start uh, tinkering around with it until we get it all nice and straight and ready to weld up. That's what we'll be doing. Right, just crack on then. Happy days. Right, okay. Just remove the front panel to so Benny can put the uh new heat shroud in there and this side and look what i found ouch oh dear we have an abundance of rot and tin worm and whatever else you want to call it weight reduction <laughs> all those things it isn't great mm. okay well don't be downhearted it's not a problem we'll fix it because we can fix anything, I think. Anyway, um, <laughs> you never know. Uh, so what I'm going to do, instead of fanning about trying to fix that, I'm just going to cut it off and put another one on there. Because it just so happens <laughs> I have one I prepared earlier again. There we are. Now this isn't too bad. In fact, it's really good. It's just little bits of rust on it and stuff. You see. I've done a bit of straightening out and there was a crack so I welded that up and all that sort of thing. So this should be a direct replacement for that. You see? Like that. We're still going to have a little bit here. It's really awkward. A little bit here to fanny about with but um, not, not too much. Can't win them all, can you? Uh, so I'm going to cut a little bit smaller out to this and then we're going to overlap it I think or we'll stick it inside oh I don't know what I'm going to do yet I don't know we'll have to see as I go along anything could happen couldn't it but anyway it'll be done one way or another it'll be done and it'll be a much better job than trying to uh, cobble some plates in there I mean it's just no no strength left in the metal at all so it needs to go so let's strip it out hey let's do it I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
Probably fall off if I do. Cover 4,680 plus one and a half, and I'll wait, and it actually fits the carburetor perfectly. So it has a new job now from now on to cover up the carb, stop rubbish going down in there. Clever, isn't it? Eh? It's like that. Okay, so then I might need your assistance, actually, Benny. If you could possibly assist me, that would be marvellous. Right, Benny's going to come and assist me, aren't you, Benny? Yeah. 
position we need to hold this in position so I can get screw in it. Am I doing these drums today as well? Yes, we'll do the brakes, but let's, can we... No, not, not the brakes, just the drums. Right, can we just get this in and then we'll talk about it, all right? Now look, see the round bit there? Mm -hmm. See that round bit? See that round bit there? Mm -hmm. Well, that's obviously got to be dead on that round bit, yeah? Don't worry about the rest of it, it's just that round bit. And we're going gonna to work from there and work our way up. All right? You understand? You getting it? To get in there, then when 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 you're in, I don't know where I would do it from there actually. You need to get it somewhere in there. That's an awkward place, isn't it? Isn't it, Benny? Mm. You sure that's right? Is that right? Hmm? Huh? 
Right then, so we've got this flitch in place um, and my battery ran out on the camera so unfortunately you didn't see but I tried the inner front panel on and it fits fine which is great news because obviously there's a good chance it may not done. Anyway it did. So what I'm going to do now is grind up the welds 
tidy up that and around the bottom there grind it all up tidy it up and uh should be good to go um need to find a new gate for this and just put a little plate in here and sort these little holes but um other than that it's pretty good right time to grind these welds up um, Right, work is progressing. Benny's been cleaning up the front of the engine. We're not taking the engine out on this occasion because it's a perfectly good engine with 48,000 miles on it and it sounds as sweet as a nut. So we're going to take the risk and run it for a while. And if it comes to it, then we'll have to do it later. But um, I think it's going to be fine, to be fair. Uh, heater box is all sorted. So this, this was actually missing. So we've got this one out of the stores, we've just got to finish it off. Uh, all the matrix is in and everything else, hoses is on. This side's pretty much taken care of now as well. Um, so that flitch I welded on earlier. Uh, so we've got this to do, but I'm not doing this, like I said, until the front panel's on. I'm going to bring the van up in the air. I'll cut this shape out um, and then put the plate back on that we took off. Um, there, yes. So. We're progressing. We're progressing on, aren't we, Ben? Yes. Benny. Cool Benny, Benny, Benny. Yeah, he's been cleaning all that up. It's all in there now. It's nice, isn't it? Yep. Lovely. Right, well, there you are. Happy days. So, so, Benny's been tidying up all this one here and all these bits and pieces. We're just trying to get the, uh, the regulator going for the heater. It's a bit seized up. I'm just going to replace these hoses now and connect this up. What we're trying to do is just basically get it so we can get the inner front panel back on. So we can get, then get back onto the brakes. Um, and get this side done, shock exhaust. I've done the anti-roll bar bush just a second ago, so we've got two new ones now. Um, we're gonna work our way around the van, just doing the brakes, bringing all that forward. The body workers have been a bit of a nightmare since found it, finding this flitch being knackered yesterday and having to replace all this. Um, it's been a bit of a slow process and we had a couple of visitors yesterday 
uh, mentioned no names, Ant from Dormobile um, and uh, Ron. But anyway, we mentioned no names. But they turned up and um, we uh, had a bit of a bit of a chat for a while. So the day seemed to fly by and not a lot got done, really. Never mind. Uh, well, Benny carried on, but I was talking. Yeah? No, but we did, we did some in the day. We did some in the day, in the morning. Yeah. Well, this flitch, as you know, and um, Benny done all the bits and pieces, the heater built, the heater up, ready to go in and, and all that. So, uh, yeah, but yesterday was a little bit slower than we, we thought it might be, wasn't it, Benny? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to get the hoses on now, all new clips and everything, put the bottom hose on, ready to uh, receive the radiator, put the inner front panel, and once that's all stitched up and together, we'll um, put some water in it, uh, just water, and, and run it for a bit and just see if we've got any uh, leaks anywhere before we drain it out again and then put coolant in it. Um, yeah, so that'll be... I was just looking at that actually, Ben. Is it worth changing this um, brake light switch whilst we can get it? It's right there. Mm -hmm. um, put a new one on because it's going to be a right kerfuffle otherwise, trying to get in there, as it always is, struggling about. But uh, yeah, so we'll do that as well. I had one in my hand yesterday. Where did I put it? You call me in a tray. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, I'll have to try and think where it, where it went. But, um, yeah, so that's the plan. We'll go with that. Oh, and I'll change the master cylinder later as well. And then all we've got to do is renew all the brake pipes. Bleed them through, and it should be as good as new. Brake system, all new. Um, yeah. Hopefully we've got no water leaks later. Uh, we could be moving on to that side of the van then next, next time. Um, and get this side all sorted out. Uh, you know, we're winning, we're really winning. We're winning, aren't we, Ben? Yeah. We're winning. All right, so I've got my special pipe cutters, windscreen rubber cutters, glass cutters there. And uh, over here, I have five meters, which is too much, obviously, of lovely new water pipe. And it's Fandango Racing Stripe Red, which is cool. That adds horsepower. Yeah, that adds horsepower, yeah, definitely. So, we'll snip the end of that off nice and neatly, because it looks like someone's chewed it off. It's like a dog's been at it. There you are, lovely. And, um, proceed. Now, also one point, I've got these matrix there. Over to, pop, pop, there you go. Yeah, so right there, there you go. Oh, that's a big dress. Right. 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 Right
Yeah, I was saying about um, people using bits of hose and stuff for the garden. Well, this is my Deville. Well, uh, it's supposed to be mine, but the missus claimed it, so it's probably hers now. Um, anyway, um, now this has got twin heaters. So I was just showing you the pipe work on the other one. So you've got the pipe coming out the bottom of the pump, and it comes up and around, and goes into the top of the matrix this size, this side, comes out the bottom of it, this side, and then goes back, um, back into the top of this side, and then it comes out at the bottom of there, and then down through the regulator and back into the pump at the top. Now, <laughs> I just noticed, I didn't notice before, to be fair, um, but someone's made this look for their hose. Look at that. Can you see it? <laughs> there, the copper pipe bend there, an elbow. Look at that. Right, obviously it works perfectly because I've never had touch wood any trouble with this van at all. It's just amazing. Right. I'll drive it anywhere, literally. But look at that. This is what I say. Why go to all that hassle just for... A little bit of hose, it doesn't make sense, but anyway, there you go. That was just pointing out what I meant. Yeah, there you, That's it. There you are. <laughs> Funny old world, anyway. Back to it. So, all the pipe works now finished off, looking rather smashing with its go faster red stripe. It's all looking a bit tidier and uh, ready to put the inner front panel back on and uh, I've lubricated all the joints not that it needs it I've never known a gearbox to be as tight as this it's like brand new so I'll have to pull that out there that's the headlight wiring and such like and the horn so that'll need to go up on the on the top when we get it on there but um never known a van you know I know it's 48,000 miles but I've never known a van to feel quite as new as this you know, but uh, anyway, 
hopefully it'll carry on like that um so we've got any roll bars so i've took the trap rod ends off this side um i've just got to knock that one off and then we're going to replace them with new ones we're going to do the shock absorber as well we're going to these are new shoes in here so i'm going to take these off anyway uh, and these look like brand new cylinders so well, i'm taking them off putting new ones on because um Obviously, they've been sat on there for at least 20 years. Might be new, but they're not new, if you know what I mean. Um, so if, if they're rebuildable, we're rebuild them and use them on a different van. There's also a little bit of play. Hear it? In the bearing. And a tapered bearing, so we can tighten that up and get rid of that. Pack it with grease. <sighs> and uh, change flexi hose. Uh, so it's all ready to have all the new hoses, the actual copper hoses made up for underneath. Um, and then we'll do the back brake. Benja's already done the, the drums and cleaned them all up and painted them up. But we've got to do the brakes inside. It's got the new shock absorber already there. Uh, there's a new handbrake cable on as well. And But all these pipes are so corroded, they've all got to be changed as snackered. Anyway, there you are. So that's what we'll carry on doing. Now stop moaning, because the camera's on. <laughs> right then, so... Fast forward a bit, and we got the front panel back in the front panel back on. I put all the bolts in all the way around so everything lines up. Um, you know, after replacing this, is always a bit of an unknown entity whether it's going to actually fit right, but it does, which is great. Um, we did check it yesterday, but all the bottom bolts are in as well now, so that's lovely, as Ben would say. So, what we're going to do, I've, I've filled it with water. I'm going to fire it up um, and let it go hot and see if it springs a leak anywhere. Um, I want to draw a line under this, so if we've got no leaks, then I'll drain the water out, put the coolant in, and then we can move on to the next bit. So um, we're going to start it up, but hang on a minute, Ben, because it's cold. We haven't started, basically. Need to choke. Right. Uh, the front one's all right, it's got no side panel in it, is it? Now you don't need throttle. Take your foot off the throttle. Yeah, right, on there. right, okay. Just turn the key off. What are you doing now? The horn's not going to work. You haven't got a horn on it. Right, go on.
I don't want to get water thrown everywhere because I want to see what we've got. Is that fresh water, is it? Not fizzy water. We've got to get. I put some wind splash in this, didn't I? Yeah. Thought I did. Still got a bit of rust in it. you bit. Leave it at that for a minute. Here we are back again. Right, okay, we've um, leapt forward in time like magic. We have, and uh, <laughs> we had a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Um, the the uh, what we thought was okay um, uh, water pump sprung a leak, didn't it, Benny? It did. Can you believe that? It fits perfectly in that hole. What does? The, the cap, what I was trying to stand it on. Oh my gosh, it's a perfect fit. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so it sprung a leak, so we had to change the water pump. So we, we thought there was no point in video in changing the water pump again, because it's boring. So we changed the water pump, done all that, front panel off, all the hoses, blah, 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 everything. Put it all back on again, and guess what? It sprung a leak. So we had to do it again. But I thought, somewhere I had a new old stock water pump, and I saved it for what I'm, you know, myself like. So for times like this and I thought well I'm sure it's niggling me anyway um in my camper van the green one I uh, restored last year the one I've had forever uh tucked away in there brand new old stock water pump so anyway I went and got it and um we fitted that and guess what it's absolutely perfect so which it would be as new anyway so the water pump's done I've now pulled the water out and put in the antifreeze haven't we Benny we've done that yeah yeah um, so it's now got all antifreeze. We dropped the oil out, done the oil filter, um, <clears throat> rinsed the engine with some winds, dropped that out, and now we've just put fresh oil, fresh filter, uh, and everything else in. Um, we just started it, and it's sweet as a little nut. Uh, it's very hot now. It's, it's uh, been running for a good, I don't know, 20, 20 minutes, half an hour. But, um, it sounds really sweet. We've got no leaks, we've got no problem. We've got good oil pressure. Um, you know, the heat's come through all the pipes up to the heat matrix, which is all nice. Particularly boo. Um, I think we're there. And the one thing you must have noticed, so I've put the wings on, well, we put the wings on, and we went and dug out this, well, Benny went and dug out this new front panel. Um, 
but it's not new. It ain't far off though. It's got a tiny little bit of um, surface rust where it was a bit before someone primed it up. Uh, looking at this, it was bare metal before as well, which is great. I can't remember where I got it from now, but um, anyway, here it is. It's going on this van because if you remember, the original panel had big holes in it. It was all rotten here and everywhere. So we've got a lovely front panel. The gap, it's only sat on the two bolts at the top and the gap on this wing is perfect. On this wing, not quite so good because the wing has sustained a massive dent. You see where I pulled the filler out of it. But when you put it into position, it's gonna line up absolutely perfect. Which ain't bad considering we uh, replaced a flitch yesterday on the inside. Of it. Tried the bonnet on and the gaps are really great. And you know, the time we've done a bit of fettling and moving around it is gonna be absolutely spot on. Oh, what a van it's gonna be. It's gonna be uh, absolutely superb. Ben is out the back at the moment, spraying up the air filter. So it's the only thing left to do on the engine. It's had new plugs, leads, cap, everything's been replaced on it now. Like I said, all the fluids and everything else have been flushed out. The rad radiator system has been flushed out. It's got a new radiator. It's on its original carburetor, which it runs quite sweet on at the moment. So we'll leave that alone. Um, so I can actually, I think we can actually draw a line under the mechanics and then get back onto the, the braking system. Uh, the shock is over on this side and the panel work this side. And then after that, it's going to be windscreen out and uh, start prepping, prepping for uh, uh, paint. <sighs> wow. Paint. Paint. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, so uh, I'll send a set of wheels off to the blasters, get them uh, blasting powder coating in the right grey. And then I'll order a set of new tyres. Um, wheels. Might even do white walls, what do you reckon? Do some white walls on it, they look really cool with white walls. Let us know what you think about that idea. We could do white walls. CAs never, ever had white walls on them from new anything. Not even an optional extra, they never had them, right? But, um, I think it might look quite cool on them. Not the bands, the actual white wall tyres, you know? Um, anyway, let us know what you think about that. You, you might think that... Uh, How big? Was it? The, the thin ones, not the, the thin, big, thick bands. Yeah. The, the thin... The thin yeah. mm. Might look quite nice, set it mm. off, wouldn't it? Because this van is going to be grey. All grey. Grey wheels, grey bumpers, everything grey apart from the chrome bits. You didn't really originally it. want grey wheels, did you? No, I wanted to do them the same as they were. Yeah. But um, oh, yeah, I said Benny grey. wanted grey, so I'm going to let Benny have his way. Yeah. Yeah. He's not very spoiled, are you? You don't get your way very often. Oof, not really. No. Well, so anyway. It is yeah. my van. What hey? What I say? Can I have what I want on it? Yeah. What? Yeah. It is your van? Yeah. Well, you tried to kill me earlier. I did not. And he's trying to get my vans. That's not true. You only got to be patient. You Give me another 20 years, I might not be here anymore. You could have the other one that's coming from Norway. No, can't mention that. Oh, no. It's a um, secret. I haven't said what it is. Yeah, don't, don't mention anything like that. That's a, a... Mentioned it before. Yeah, that was a long time ago. It's niggling, isn't it? Niggling them. The thing from Norway. Niggling our audience. Mm. Hmm. If you remember a while back, when I was working outside, um, I mentioned we got a, a trip to Norway coming up. Well, that's changed a bit. Uh, just a quick update. We're not actually going to Norway now. Norway's <laughs> coming to us, which is uh, a bit of a shame, really. It is, really, yeah. So I'd quite like to have... Um... Are we using these clips or not? Well, yeah, they're the original ones, yeah. yeah. We haven't got any... And all those. He's talking about the clips for the the rubber hose that goes to the airbox. Um, yeah, and always coming to us. And uh, obviously, it's it took a bit of the fun out of what would have been an epic YouTube series. But um, it, yeah, it's what it is. It, it is can't be choosers. No, that's right. It's coming to us. We'll anyway, uh, we'll we'll let you know more about that nearer the time. Anyway, so there you go. We we're just um, gonna get this air filter box on, and then I'm gonna get it up in here and get on with the brakes. If I've got any strength left, what time is it? Like, it must be done. Five? Half five. Can't be that late because Adam's coming. Hello, Adam. <laughs> it's half five. Oh, I'll be here now. Yeah. In a minute. All right, okay. 
So we're going to crack on a bit more, uh, maybe crack on a bit more. Yeah. Oh, no, no, we'll, we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day. Yeah, because, you know. I'm tired, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Can we come and say goodbye? We can't see you over there. Well, I don't think they could even see you. Of course they can see me. I'm, I'm in a perfect shot. I'm half. There we are. Right. The way you move a camera is so professional. You know, it's nice and smooth. So it's been, it's been a bit a bit of a nightmare the last couple of days, isn't it? We haven't really got done what we thought we were going to get done. We've had to do other things. Maybe bits. Most on the front end. But it all has to be done, just not in that order. But There's bits that you can't see, isn't it? Which is quite... Mm. That's what's niggly in it, that you, you know, you can't... Yeah. You can't see it. But advice is... When you're doing your own van, it can be like looking at a massive mountain you've got to climb, and, and some of them are, trust me, some of them are mind-numbingly worrying and stressful. But just look at your van or your project as different sections. Break it up into sections, because if you, do, if you look at it one big job, the wife's gone out again, uh, if you look at it one big job, it literally It'll just consume you. Yeah, it will scream your head off. So take a piece, a door, whatever it may be, a wing, and carry that through until it's done. In our case, water pump. Yeah. Get the job done. Don't leave it. Get it done. Make sure it's right. And you make yourself feel much better at the end of it, wouldn't you? And then you can move on to the next bit. It's like this is niggling me. But I know that this wiper motor is seems solid and it's got to come out of there. You know, and I can't wait to see them wipers on that big screen, like working and stuff. Just silly little things, please me. But I know this is knackered. What are you doing now? What are you doing? Oh, look at that. That screen has had that dirt on it for 20 years, and you go and do that. It's history, that is. Anyway, um, yeah, so don't stress. Just take your time bit by bit, then you'll be all right. And if you get stuck, <laughs> give us a call. Give us a shout, and we're always there. If you need your hand. Oh, great example. Way. What are you doing? Australia this morning. Oh, the gentleman in Australia with the two vans that he said were a wreck and they looked like Rolls Royces. No offence. But, you know, in Australia, uh, they think a windburnt van, a, a sunburnt van, mm. Sun dried. <laughs> it needs a lot of work. I mean, the panels on, on those vans are just... We really only dream about finding them like that, don't we? Anyway, lovely chap. Phoned me this morning. Yeah. Uh, he's sat in co-op. Yeah, we're sat in co-op car park. He phones us up and he's sat in his office in Australia. 32 degrees. Their summer. And, um, yeah, chatting away, trying to sort him out some bits and pieces to help him out, which is a great thing. It is indeed. Yeah. So get stuck, give us a shout. Anyway, that's it from us. Yeah. We'll blab on all night otherwise, won't we? Yeah. That's it from us. We're going to get cleaned up, then have some tea, have a shower, put the feet up. Dinner. Dinner. Oh, the merch is coming. Should be ready today. Anyway, let this go because we'll just blab on otherwise, won't we? Yeah. We'll blab on. So from us at Madworks Garage, me and Benny and Windsor the Band. We'll see you in the next episode. Happy days. Look out yourselves.